Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Do it yourself is the motto that I'm going to adopt today because our staff went on a vacation yesterday and they will arrive at exactly 10 o'clock this morning. And of course, we cannot just allow our pets to go hungry. That's why I have to do it myself. And I have a good news today because the kind of feeding that we have used or the formula of the mixture of the feeds that we adopted is actually very effective. In fact, you have noticed that we already have hatched our ducklings. There are six cute ducklings that have been hatched in this area. And another good news is the eggs that I can let you see right here at my right. You know, these ducks really wanted to lay eggs on the bushes and I would like to let you see now the eggs. So you told me about this because you have vast of experience about the Muscovy ducks and I stand corrected when I said that the eggs will become hatch in just 28 days period. I was actually not aware of this, that this will hatch in 35 days period. So you will see that we have here plenty of eggs. I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, we have 15 eggs and I suspect that one egg is broken. So we will remove that. So I have to check this from time to time because if we will just be complacent about this, some eggs might be broken. So we have to use this one hay right here. And we will put some reinforcement over there. So one egg had been broken, so I will remove that. Okay, that's it. One, two, three, four. So that's it. So we will remove this one and we will throw this because this will now create some, you know, damage to our eggs. So I will throw that one. And as what I have said, I will do it myself today. I have to feed all our animals here and we're gonna harvest the breakfast. You know this asola is actually spreading like the wildfire. They can multiply in just a period of 12 hours or 24 hours for that matter. It's my practice to do this early in the morning. Of course, if I have the staff, they can do it for me. But since they are not present right now, I might as well do it myself. And you will notice that the ducks are also very eager, you know, they're watching and they're very eager to eat their breakfast using this asola.
And what's good about this farm is the availability of sources of food. I'm making an alternate with this water spinach, this cobra crop. These are the good food for our rabbits. And my budget for the food is just very minimal. Minimal in the sense that we are no longer buying so much commercial pellet and food for our animals here because of the, the azola, because of this water spinach, the cobra crop, and the leftovers. And of course, we're putting some vitamins as our supplements, and we are regularly also doing some deworming every now and then to our animals because if they have these parasites in their bodies they will not also produce and they will not grow fat so these are basic these are the basic things that we have to observe in the farm You know, I'm so excited to start again with chickens and you know that in our previous farm we honed our skills in you know massively producing this chickens the vaccination and the prevention aspect is actually now in place and I would like to start again with Siam chicken we also have chicks of this Rhode Island and in the even this black astrolorp but I would like also to integrate this one, the Siam chicken. You know, I've been to the farm of my friends and this is just eight months old rooster that we're gonna use as our starter. In fact, I have three hens right now and one rooster and I'm intending to add more. Maybe one is to, you know, we can just use two or three roosters for 15 hens and we will utilize the back portion this one we will utilize this one for the chicken coop on top of the fish pond and I'm so hopeful about this because I learned that you can best produce chickens on top of the water because it will prevent actually developing the virus I don't know but we will try this one since this is my first time to also try this method these are a special kind of bamboo that we can use as our post this is not an ordinary bamboo we got this from the mountains actually and it's quite cheaper if we're gonna go direct to the mountains and buy this stuff I think this will this kind of bamboo will last long and they can stand still on water I mean they will not get easily uh, decayed or destroyed because this is as what I've said a special kind of bamboo we normally call this in our local dialect to wood so you will see that there is no hollow in the middle this is a pure bamboo I'm excited about this and if you are not subscribed to this channel I will asked you to please subscribe because along the way we are revealing secrets and you know useful informations all about farming and also I would like to let you know that if this is your first time to stumble upon this channel we're gonna be uploading videos every two days and those videos are exciting full of knowledge and you know information about 
the the normal the basic technology that we have adapted just to be able to establish a good farm and earn a profit out of it so i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world